Hey lovelies, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We're here for another video. We are still in the midst of Black History Month. Yes, okay. So, doesn't subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Keisha, if you're a returning subscriber. How are you? It's good to see you and I missed you. And for today's video, I'm going to be showing you some black authors or edited table books that you should know about, okay? Because yes, there are table books that you can get. We look, Tom Ford, forget Tom Ford, forget the Chanel book. These books right here are gonna give you all your life and you're supporting black editors and authors and creators of these books. So let's get right into it. Okay, the first book we're gonna talk about is The New Black Vanguard. This book is retails for $39.49. I got um, most of these books from Amazon and I'll have them linked below by Antoine Sargent. I hope I'm saying that correctly. This book, I have it right here actually. Oh, look how pretty it is, yes. Look at this cover, oh my God, she's killing it. This book right here is vibrant portraits and conceptual images that fuse art and fashion photography in ways that break traditional boundaries between genres. Antoine, he selected, which I have his picture right here, 15 groundbreaking artists, including Tyler Mitchell, who was the first African-American to shoot a cover for Vogue for the magazine in 125 years. Why is there still the first of black this and that? We should not be there. We should be beyond that. But neither here nor there, so there's 15 contributors to this book of photography in fashion. And you guys, this book is so divine. Look at that picture. Like, I'm just gonna flip through it a little bit so you can see like what it's giving. This book is $40. First of all, these books are way cheaper than that Tom Ford book that's 80 to $100. And like, y'all, it's so vibrant and pretty. Like the colors, the people, and this is, full of black creators and black photos and fashion and photography. So is that if that is your aesthetic, if that is your thing, this book will be perfect for you. And like I said, um, Antoine Sargent, and I showed you his picture. Um, yeah, this is his book, okay? So moving on to the next book I wanna talk about is called Young, Black, and Gifted. This retails for $35.49 and can be found on Amazon. Um, again, Antoine Sargent, and there was other collectors who contributed to this book, putting it together, was Bernard I. Lumpkin and Carmine D. Bocazzi. I think those two were white, so we gonna forget about them, okay? But no, Antoine Sargent, which we've seen his picture, but I'll post it again for you guys. Um, this is the book, I have the book right here. Vibrant. I love how these books are so vibrant and I feel like they just attract you so quickly. And there's so many books like this on Amazon by black authors and contributors who can, you know, who compile this stuff and create a book like this. And it just, uh, I just love this black art that this book is giving. So the point of this book is it surveys the work of newer generations of black artists and voices of a diverse group of curators who are cutting edge in contemporary art. So this book is full of, you know, black voices, black visions, and contemporary art. And just to flip through it and maybe, you know, show you guys something. Right here, that's one picture, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that looks like a meme. <laughs> Look at that, he's holding a baby. All right, next. <laughs> And like, look at this, you guys. Oh my God, it's just so vibrant, so pretty. And I just am so excited for these books to look through them. Definitely, if you are looking for table books and you want something that's created by black creators and have like a black artist vision, these books will definitely, you should definitely get these books. So Young, Black, and Gifted. Moving on to the next book, I wanna talk about, it's called, now this is gonna be really interesting because this is uh, Black Food by Bryant Terry. It's stones, arts, and recipes from across African Desperia, basically a cookbook. So 
It's by Brian Terry. I have his picture right here. Um, and it captures the rich, beautiful, groundbreaking um, recipes and photographs exploring black foodways within America and around the world, you guys. And like I said, these books are so vibrant and so pretty. They will definitely spice up your living room, spice up wherever you want to put these books. Like, and they just, they just, such a beautiful thing and it captures your attention and very, very easy to look at uh, the pictures. It also captures the broad divergent voices of African dysphoria or, you know, cooking throughout the prism of food. Um, it has more than a, a hundred con contributors, why was it contri contributors who contributed to this book and uh, luminaries from around the globe. The book moves through chapters exploring parts of the black experience through food. Yes! Um, right, you know what? We are so creative, okay? Like, y'all can't tell us nothing. Like, there's so many different, like, recipes you can get here. There's vegan, what did I do? Vegan sweet potato coconut biscuits. Like, that sounds delicious, okay? Like, not only are you getting these vibrant pictures, you're also getting, like, the recipes of how to do this. So I absolutely love this. It gives you visuals. It gives you, oh, I want to try new things. I want to um, maybe try different types of food within the black community. And not all of it is like unhealthy, you know? Uh, I love this. And some of it is, okay? That, that you, you know we got some unhealthy food. That Southern food, look. But like, oh my God, you guys, this book is so cool. Like, look at that. I, I died for this book. Um, love it. Brian Terry, thank you for this. Like, we definitely need a different outlook on recipes that are out there created by black people. It's not all just one genre. We can create anything, okay? So, this is the, that book. I didn't get the price for that one because, yeah. But I'll have it listed right here. Moving on to the next book by Kwame Braith. Braith? Y'all, I spelled that wrong. We're going to put his name right here. And it's called Black is Beautiful. This retails for $28.99 on Amazon. I forgot to say, I got the uh, Black Food book off of Amazon as well. Uh, Kwame, I will have his picture right here. He's 85 years old. Um, he used his photography back in the, the 70s and the 80s to popularize, to popularize the political slogan of Black is Beautiful, which it is, yes. Um, so here's the book right here. Love this photo. This photo is so capturing. Like, African queen right here. Uh, and this book is dedicated to Bray uh, Kwame. We gonna say his first name, because his last name, ooh child. Remarkable career, career that tells the story of a key but under-recognized figure of the second Harlem Renaissance. The Harlem Renaissance, y'all remember that? Let's, let's look inside this book. Like, look at that. Who is that? Um, why did it look like? No, that's not it. <laughs> but, you know, when jazz and blues kicked off in Harlem and New York, like, this is crazy. Like, jazz festival pictures. Oh, look at that. Such a culture. We have such a beautiful musical culture, you know, that this book is definitely highlighting and celebrating. And absolutely love it. I love these type of books when they celebrate us, especially with the musical. Cause you know, black people have been in music. Okay, cause you can't tell me that. You can't tell me I'm wrong, I'm not wrong. But yeah, oh my gosh. Y'all, to die for. Definitely get this book. It's less than $30 on Amazon. Beautiful, could go with any decor and you're definitely getting highlights and visuals from the Harlem Renaissance, you know, when jazz and blues was such at a height. Moving on to the next book. What is it? Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, I got my notes right here. Um, is called Supreme Actresses, Iconic Black Women Who Revolutionized Hollywood. So this is this book right here, and if you know me, I watch so much TV, I be knowing all the actresses' names, all the, um, you know, <laughs> I be 
yeah. Anyways, so I thought this was beautiful, okay? And then I got my girl Viola. You know my girl, oh, how to get away with murder, okay? Yes, I love me some Viola Woman King. Woo, uh, this book is under $30 as well. It's $27.99, I got it off of Amazon. It was uh, created by Marcella's Reynolds. I hope I said that right. Marcella's, Marcel, we gonna put his name right here. But yeah, this is what he looks like. And this is a comprehensive collection of photos, intergraph, interviews, why well, I say intergraph? Photographs, interviews, profiles of the most influential black artists, actresses, not artists, actresses, who have worked in film, television, and theater. And shout out to Viola, because I forgot to say this. She just became an EGOT winner. Yes, she won her Grammy recently, this past Sunday. Go Viola, kudos to her, okay? And um, it's also dedicated to celebrating black actresses and exploring their experiences in acting. So Marcellus Reynolds, just to give a little blurb about him, he's an American actor, author, entertainment, entertainment reporter, and television host. So yes, we need to be celebrated as um, black women in, in Hollywood. Oh yeah, girl, talk about, when I just opened the book, who came up? Regina King, that's my girl, I love her. I absolutely love her. Chrissy, oh wait. Kersey Clemens? Wait, wasn't this the girl in uh, Neighbors 2, The Only Living Boy? Oh, I thought she was in something else. Okay, her. <laughs> I've seen her in some movies, but she looked like another girl. Okay, let's open the page and see what else we get. Yo, Regina? Regina? I love Regina. <laughs> okay, one more time. Let's see what we get. I don't know her. I don't know her either. See? Yo, Issa Rae. I love Issa Rae. Insecure, her come up was glorious, okay? Yeah, this is definitely my book. I, I if you love act if you love movies and television as much as I do, this book right here, okay? <laughs> Moving on to the next book, which was Supreme is which is Moving to the next book. Supreme Models Who Revolutionize Fashion. And I don't have that book, but I plan on buying it. Um, again, it was by Marcellus Reynolds, clear, clearly, hence the title. But um, I have a picture of the book right here. It features more than 70 women from the last 75 years, black women who have been in the modeling industry. And I love the modeling, you know, fashion industry, whatever. And it details most of their memorable covers, campaigns, runway shows editorials black models that have been influencing fashion and pop culture for decades reshaping the standards and boundaries of beauty okay and you know my girl naomi campbell is in that book yes beverly johnson tyra banks you know look yeah we got some uh <laughs> Some models in there and I can't wait to get that book I do plan on getting it I just haven't gotten it yet it does retail for like $40 so it's a little bit but you know I, I do plan on getting it. you can get it on Amazon and if you love fashion you love models you love black women modeling in the modeling industry that book is for you definitely supreme model moving on to the next book it's called Brown Bohemians Honoring the Light and Magic of Our Creative Community. This was uh, created by best friends Morgan Ashley, I have their picture here, and Vanessa Cor Vernon. Okay, and here's the book right here. As you can see, ooh. And I found that somebody had this book on TikTok and I was like, yes. It's honoring the light and magic of our creative community and it captures the essence and voice of an under uh, under disrespected demographic, black women. Okay, who's the most disrespected person in America? Black women. Um, <laughs> influence deeply, it influenced a deeply held belief that our stories sculpt our collective narrative. A group of authors and artists came together to create vital and virtual movement from a so on social media to life and in print. So this is created by two women, two black women. I love that. And it's, look at this, opening the first page. Look at these creators, like, 
oh, black women, we can do anything. We really and truly can. I absolutely love this. And I love that they were best friends and they're highlighting black women. So, and I love what it says on the back of the book. It's like Issa Rae. Remember when Issa Rae were quoted at the, uh, I don't know if it was the Grammys or the Oscars. She was like, and last but not least, who are you rooting for tonight, Issa Rae? And she's like, I'm rooting for everybody black. I am betting on black tonight. And last but not least, who are you rooting for tonight? I'm rooting for um, everybody black. <laughs> I am. <laughs> betting on black tonight. Yes, every day, all day, I'm betting on black. So definitely check this book out. It wasn't that expensive. I'll have the price listed right here because I forgot what it was. But this is that book. The last and final book, which I don't have in my hands because I'm waiting for it to be restocked on us88books.com. This is by Nichelle Garner. I have her picture right here. This book I am dying to get my hands on. It's from, it's Rare Access Photos and of archives of private collections inspired by uh, her family history. She has unearthed a revealing treasure trove of historic photographs of famous actors, dancers, writers, entertainers. And Nichelle, she's, she's had so much experience in this because she has contributed to many magazines and websites, including InStyle, Essence, and Glamour. And this book, oh my God, it restocks at the end of February, so don't everybody go jump out and get it because I'm trying to give me a copy. But, uh, I just love this book. You can check out her Instagram at Vintage Black Grammar. I don't know if that's her. Yeah, Vintage Black Grammar. And she has a personal Instagram too where you can see some of the photos. Not necessarily in the book, but maybe some of those photos are in the book. It's just like rare photos of these historic and um, iconic actresses and people in the entertainment industry. And like Lena Horne and um, who else? I think Aretha Franklin, just all these other people, like photos we may or may not have seen before. And I am really excited to get my hands on this book. I also love the aesthetic of the book because it's gold and you know, I like gold. But um, it's gonna go perfect with my aesthetic, gold, and I just love it. I have the cover of the book right here and I'll show you a little bit of the pictures, but definitely check her out. That book retails for $40. She also has a gentleman version of the book, which is not available either. That's sold out. But um, you can get both books right now, which is available for $120. But I just really want the, the black woman version first, and then we'll see about the other one. But yeah, you guys, that is my video. Sorry, I'm checking the time. <laughs> That's my video. Those are the books I feel like you should check out, these table books. There's a plenty of more, especially on Amazon, that you can definitely, definitely go look for. Like and you get it quick, Amazon Prime. And these table books are definitely giving you full of culture, full of life, full of color. And you're definitely supporting a black author, black contributors, black photography. And last but not least, who are you rooting for tonight? I'm rooting for um, everybody black. <laughs> I am. Betting on black tonight. Black, black, look. I'll say blacking. Black, flat, look. You're definitely supporting black artistry, black photography, black artists, and definitely support them during this Black History Month. Check out some of these other table books that are created by black creators. And yeah, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Happy Black History Month. Continuing. Bye.